Hey, what's going on, Baywolf Nation? It's on Baywolf back in it with another video. So today's video is all gonna be about the four-stroke Superjet, Yamaha Superjet, and the Kawasaki SXR 1500 stand-up jet ski that's behind me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video's uploaded. So let's get all talking about this. Also too, if you could hit the like button, I greatly appreciate it. So if you're in the market and you're looking to buy a stand-up, you obviously know Yamaha Super Jets are not two-stroke anymore, they're four-stroke. So realistically, there is no comparison between the new Super Jet to the Kawasaki SXR 1500. Now, from what I have seen is a Yamaha sponsored racer, right? Races, sit down. Jet skis is numerous posts stating that the new super jet is junk. Now here is a sponsor rider of Yamaha knocking the thing. That's the first when you see that everybody beforehand that got their hands on it all said bad things, right? It, it is that crazy that it's cool that something new is coming out, but let me tell you some stuff why you should go between the two, right? Here we go. Big thing between the two is the sponsons, if you put on a super jet, would be mounted into the rivet holes right there, right? Then the actual Kawasaki SXR 1500 has sponsons. These are not the ones, these are the JC Racing, but bolt already in there. There is no drilling, they hook right in. Besides, if you're adding with JC Racing, they have a mid sponson. That is one of the biggest things right there off the bat with handling, which you'll see the difference because the Kawasaki SXR 1500 is faster straight line speed. Now the big thing that's a big improvement between the two two is you have the Super Gen is brand new. So it's just one year of time. The Kawasaki SXR has been out since 2017 to 2021. Nothing has changed besides the graphics and paint schemes. Everything has stayed the same. So you know beforehand, before they made it, the thing was perfect and they didn't need to improve any type of parts on the ski before they came out. That's a big selling point right then and there. Uh, the tray is a different size. I have to say the Superjet has a nice, nicer stock pull with the fuel gauge. Uh, you have here with this one is up top, um, but it has a, a, a warning light warning light and a low fuel light right up there now you have a lot of room in the engine bay on the kawasaki sxr 1500 the probably more the superjet has more of a play to it than you would have with this but if you're into fast straight line speed it is a bigger animal to be riding but definitely i'd have to say uh the kawasaki sxr is the winner with the four stroke stand-ups um and it's crazy too is both come out and they're not even going to be racing against each other because they're in a whole nother league uh the, and, and to me i'm not a pro yamaha i'm not pro c -Doo, i'm not pro kawasaki i like stuff that where it is the engineering has been put into it and i have to say the only downfall with this ski is the pole could be nicer having an actual fuel gauge but again when you're out riding this isn't a day trip ski this is Either you're going to be racing it and you know how much fuel in it, so you can't be going out on a safari riding. Well, the other downfall that this ski has, its biggest issue it has is the fuel pump. You have to change the filters quite often. And when you take it, the fuel pump assembly has tons of issues. And as you can see, it is impossible to get down in there. It is possible, but it is like that is probably the only thing that's wrong with this ski. That and they get a little wobble to them. JC Racing Sponsons fixed that. But all around is a reliable ski. I have to say this is it. Now everybody can be what they're wanting out of a ski. The tray is bigger in this one than, like I said, in the Super Jet. And I just kind of think too, when you look at color schemes, as you guys can see from 2017 and up with these, they have a lot of options. And when you have the Super Jet that's plain white, nothing really fancy, people say, hey, Bay Wolf, we'll do graphics on it. But again, your bottom of your hull is still white. Not the best place if you're in a lake or a river with color change of the water. So I'd have to say right then and there, that's an unselling point. Um, but definitely go out there. 
If you have a chance, ride one before buying it. Never, ever, ever buy a stand-up without riding it because you do not know what you're getting yourself into unless you've been in a stand-up before. And the big difference too is past the road two strokes, four stroke stand-ups are not even the same thing. The cool thing with this, you can be sitting and both models do the same thing. With the ski off, you can sit in the tray and it's two stroke stand-ups, you are in the water until the ski starts moving. So when the things shut off, a cruising speed, low like in no wake zones, you can be kneeling in there and you can be riding, you don't have your legs off the back and all around, the technology with that is the biggest selling point. My opinion, two strokes are dead. We're not even getting in that to another video. Just again, with how four strokes are nearly dead because it is actually illegal to modify these, anything with the M, uh, engine with the EPA, no matter what ski it is. So that's something to think about and I'm gonna be doing a future video talking all about that, the big people awareness of what is out there to be aware of. Um, but yeah, definitely look at the two. You got one year only with the 2021 with the Superjet. And like I said, Kawasaki SXR 1500, 2017 to 2021. Who knows what's going to be happening with the 2022 models. But also too, if you're in the market of buying any type of jet ski in a couple months, the 2022s will be announced and be early uh, fall, late summer will be released that people can get them. So think about that. Also too, with any type of stand-up, you need specialty trailers with sitting on them. You cannot put them on a standard trailer. This one is an older trailer, but you can see how it's custom where people added like a PVC pipe where it rests perfectly fine in there. I had a Triton Wave trailer and the thing sat really bad on there. And this older trailer sat a lot better, but it is because it's been modified to have it sit perfect. The ski is not coming off. So that's another thing when you're out looking by a stand-up. The biggest thing is having a correct trailer where the thing is not falling off while you're pulling it. Um, the nice thing out of all the jet skis I've ever owned, these hardly use any fuel. It is tuned to be on premium fuel, 93 octane, but it hardly uses any fuel. And every time riding would just cost me a couple bucks. Then when this, give or take where you're at with the gas prices, uh, the, it could cost almost sometimes 20 to $40 to fill. This would be always a couple bucks because it's not that much fuel. The other big selling point too with the Kawasaki SXR is you have this whole storage thing right here. The Superjet does not have that. So I have this dry bag. You can find this on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash Iron Beowulf. Floats, it's a Faraday bag. So you put your bag stuff in there, put it over, it floats, and, it, and this would fit perfectly right in there so I could have my keys, my phone, my wallet, and go ride it. Now, if you were in the Superjet, you'd be wearing some type of a backpack. You can't really bring anything with you. So again, that makes it more, it's like a style race machine because where are you gonna be bringing your phone or your keys if you go to the boat ramp? Uh, you don't wanna put them in your pocket, you lose them in the bottom of the river, ocean, lake, whatnot. But that gives you guys a little bit of input. Comment at the bottom, if you got one of these, if you're getting one of these, what your opinion is? This is just a quick summary. Everybody can give in depth what their opinion is, but I'm just giving my opinion um, with this. And actually the ski is sold. It's gonna be leaving in less than an hour and a half. So when the video's up, it's been gone for a couple of weeks. I sold, I, if you watch the whole video, I sold it and investing more into crypto, uh, Bitcoin mining and into Bitcoin. So it's, uh, I like to see gains, passive income. Uh, so definitely check into that too. Before you're in the market and you have a ski, if you have a couple thousand dollars, you can actually make it into a lot bigger money if you're intelligent with investing in the crypto. And again, I'm not giving any type of financial advice. Just letting you know from my personal experience. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, existing subscribers, hit the bell notification, you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also hit the like button. Check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at iambeowulf.com. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay muddy and keep strong.